G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Heart Out. Now another crystal growing video. I hope you don't mind, I'm going to do a little series of these just to have a break from, you know, the acrylic pouring, the resining, the baking, the finger knitting. I like to do a few different things. I get bored very quickly and I like new challenges. So, new powder. Now have a look at this one. Mono Ammonium Phosphate MAP. It comes, there's a couple of different names for it. Sometimes it's written ammonium, mono, it's also, oh, what is it? Ammonium dihydrate phosphate. Now the difference between this one, it's a phosphate, and the alum crystals that I used um, for my rose, it was a sulfate. So that was a sulfate, this is a phosphate. And I haven't used this before, it just arrived yesterday. And um, I'm going to try that today. The little crystals look different. They look longer. There's like little long pieces in there. This is the powder. It's, it's a fertilizer, you guys. We're making crystals from fertilizers. All right, so um, I went out to Spotlight yesterday and I bought some glass containers specifically for growing crystals. Now, I only need a little bit. I'm going to grow some seed crystals. That's what we're going to do today. So I want... 200 millilitres so I'm going to go and grab my kettle which is just finished boiling I have a little kitchenette in my studio very lucky girl kitchenette and powder room so I can boil a kettle a little bit more and there's a sink I don't have a microwave in here though <laughs> so That'll do. When you're looking across like that, you go, okay, do I go under the line, on the line, above the line? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. All right, so now that is, it's just boiled, so nice and hot. As soon as we've decanted it into the glass um, jug, the temperature has dropped because the jug was cold. It's, the temperature's dropped, so it's no longer boiling water. So what I'm going to have to do is, I am going to have to go and pop this in my microwave shortly. So 200 mils of water, 90 grams, try not to spill, put it on the scale, 90 grams of MAP, 54, it's not quite half, like it's not 200 mils to 100 grams, it's just not quite half. What did I say? 90. Okay. Ha! I'm up to 95. That's okay. All right. 93. That'll be all right. Three grams will be all right. So I am going to stir, stir, stir. Now, if you've watched any other videos on YouTube, as I have, <laughs> on growing crystals, they say, don't worry about getting your water boiling, just hot and put your solution in and keep adding until you can't add any more, until there's some left on the bottom. So, look, I tried that when I started making crystals. It didn't work for me. The crystals that were on the bottom just attracted more crystals and it wasn't, the crystals weren't forming on the actual item that I wanted them to form on. And like I said, this is no longer boiling water. See, it's, I mean, it's hot, but it's no longer boiling. And um, we've still got crystals. Look at that. Can you see how elongated they are? I think I'm going to get elongated crystals. So anyway, I'm going to keep stirring this, but um, it's it's still cloudy and I can see little crystals on the bottom. And then other people would say, okay, that's good. You know, no more can be dissolved. You need a little bit on the bottom still. Use that. For me, um, I am going to take this into the kitchen and I'm going to microwave it on high for one minute until it's totally dissolved and the liquid is clear so I will be right back right so that is all dissolved now and uh, I'm going to pour it into my little bowl make sure because this is almost boiling you know make sure that you're going to put it into a heat resistant bowl um, you don't want to pour it into just like a, a thin glass and it's going to crack as soon as the hot water touches it, so just be careful. Now the other thing I want to do as well, I am going to just, this, um, this came in a, I'm not sure where I got it, Some something came in it and I thought, oh, I'll keep 
that. Now, when you're growing crystals, if you can get your water to cool down um, as slowly as possible, you'll get you'll get better crystal growth. I kind of feel like I need to torch the bubbles. <laughs> ah, this is so weird. So anyway, if you can get your water to cool down slowly, um, you'll get better, stronger, clearer crystals than um, I feel I need to pop the bubbles. <laughs> then if you just let it sit here with the air conditioner blowing on it, it's going to crystallize really quickly. Your crystals might grow relatively quickly, but they're not going to be as strong or as nicely shaped. So good night. We will see you tomorrow. I'm just going to do that. If you don't have a polystyrene box, um, before I found this in my studio, <laughs> I wrapped a blanket around it, a little like a little bunny rug, um, clipped it with some clips and... Uh, put a cover on it and hopefully it kept it warm. You could use your esky. Um, not, well, I'm not quite sure what you'd call them if you're not in Australia. We call them an esky. Uh, a cooler, a cooler bag for your drinks when you go out. Insulated, an insulated bag of some kind. Um, I would suggest doing that. So I might have to get myself a bigger one. I think the fruit and, fruit and veg shops actually have them for free. You can just go and get yourself one. So yeah. All right. So we'll leave that alone until tomorrow and see if we've got some little crystals forming that we can pick out and um, grow, grow from our seed crystals. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Right, oh, it has been, I think, about eight hours and we've got crystals. I've kind of been lift, I've lifted up the lid like a couple of times and just shone a torch in and the first few times there was nothing there and I was, I was getting really disappointed. I thought, oh my gosh, it's not working. And then um, I just did it again and there was some things going on. I just put those there just to get like a little crack of air in. I don't know why. I thought maybe let the steam evaporate or something. I don't know. All right, let's have a little look. Uh, and because we've got something in there, we might as well use these. These will be our these will be our seeds so that um, we can grow bigger crystals. There's no point me leaving them in there, you know. I, I want to grow them individually. Otherwise, I think they might just sort of spread and become one big clump, maybe. Now, I'm going to pop that in there. Hopefully, I don't know if they'll all stick to the bottom or not. Oh, gosh. Nope, they're, they're loose. So I want to use that solution again you know it's only been in there for eight hours Let's see what we've got it's kind of a bit sludgy in the bottom there I might put it through a just put some cool water in there just to sort of clean them up a little bit so let's move that out of the way and I am going to just tip them onto there and then I can I can rinse that out. It's looking a bit looking a little bit icky. Alright. Well this is exciting, isn't it? Now I need a clean one. <laughs> now that they've been sort of drying off on that. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. So I'll, I'll bring the camera up, well, I'll bring this up so they can have a little look. So they've kind of grown in, kind of look a bit like jigsaw puzzles. They've kind of grown together. They're kind of a little bit flat. So that one's a bit raised. So I'm just gonna basically pick one I kind of need to give it a bit of a rub to make sure that it's one crystal and not just, you know, a couple like that. I want to make sure that I've got one instead of like a whole heap because when you rub them together, you might end up with that. So, you, And you don't want to grow that. You want one decent one. So, And I know it, made, it looks a bit as if I'm being a bit harsh on them, but I just want to get one. And, and you, can, you can feel like 
you know, if it's going to crumble or not, if it's just going to be one. And then I'll put those ones aside. And these other ones. I mean, you could still use them. Um, but, you know, they're a bit, bit on the small side. I would rather um, dry them out and kind of send them back to the container when they're dried out. Now, they've got quite a few seed crystals. I wasn't exactly sure how they were going to grow. They've I thought I was just going to get like one crystal, but they've kind of all joined together. I don't know if you can see them all that well. So, um, I think I think that'll be enough. I don't really know what... Oh, that was cool. It's got like a long pointy bit on it. Mm -mm, try not to break that one. Maybe I'll keep that one. <laughs> um, and that one, look at that one's got like a long pointy bit too. So cool. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is now this was a mixture of 200 milliliters of water to 90 grams of um, ADP, dihydrogen. It is. I need to go and get my, my notebook. I didn't bring my notebook. The D is for dihydrin. Um, and the S is for, no, what is it? Oh, I'm getting all confused now. I'm trying to, because I've got alum in my head and then I've got this one in my head as well. So 200, gram, 200 milliliters of water, 90 grams of um, ADP. And I need to add more because... Some of it has now come out of the crystals, so I need to basically put this amount of powder back in the water to have it at the same saturation. Does that make sense? Hopefully. So I am just going to weigh these, um, and then I will put the same amount of powder back in. Try and keep these off to the side, but fit them on my scale. And I'm on ounces, mils, grams. There we go. It's basically 20 grams, so a tablespoon. So I need to put a tablespoon of powder back in there now. Does that all make sense to you? I, look, I'm learning as we go. And because I like recipes, I know, I want to know what works, when, how. <laughs> so I am going to add, I'll just move that over there. I'm going to add a tablespoon in here and then I'm going to reheat it okay I looked up the other name for it so it's mono ammonium phosphate phosphate which is MAP or ammonium dihydrogen phosphate ADP so it's either one of those okay they're both the same very powdery so let's put in another tablespoon into there. Shall I leave that in there? That can be my chemical tablespoon. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to basically take it back into the kitchen. I'm going to need to get myself a microwave for the studio. I'm going to take it into the microwave and I'm going to heat it probably oh, five minutes because I really want it to come back to the boil so it's really well saturated, really well dissolved. Uh, I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to put my crystal back in there. I'm back! I had to go into the kitchen and heat it. It only needed about three minutes actually and I looked through the window of the microwave. It was bubbling away so I thought great. Uh, so all dissolved. Now I have just waited eight hours for my um, ADP to crystallise. So if I had to pour boiling water over these, they're just going to dissolve. <laughs> they will disintegrate. They'll be back where I started eight hours ago. So what we need to do is we need to get our little container. Make sure if you're using glass, use heat proof. Glass is better only because the crystals won't stick to the sides as much. If you're using a plastic container, um, the crystals tend to stick to the sides. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. If, you, if, if, the, if you've only got plastic, then that's fine. You can, you know, if you're starting, um, you could use plastic cups. Probably not the ones with the little ridges on them. But, um, yeah, obviously you can't pour boiling water into those. But um, I just went to um, 
spotlight and got some. This is one, it's, it's a bowl like, and it had like a lid for it as well. So anyway, I need to go and probably get a few more, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on them. Maybe the dollar store, like vases. It's got to make sure that the opening's not too small and, and then it's wider, you know, at the bottom. Otherwise, you're not going to, if it grows, you're not going to get it out. Maybe little fish tanks. Um, yeah, get a collection of different sizes. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Keep my eyes open. All right, so that's done. Now, we're just going to leave that. It needs to cool down. I'm just going to put that over the top so a fly or nothing goes in there. And in the meantime, I am going to just pick out which ones I like and pop them in here. I do like that one because it's got that long pointy bit on it. So that'll be my favourite. I'm going to put like, I think I'm going to put three in there just to let them grow a little bit. And then when they're bigger, if, if they work, <laughs> if it works, then I can take them out and put them in other containers. But it's quite, quite a big surface area. And um, yeah, so I feel as if I can probably put a few in there. So I'm going to pick out a few nice looking ones, just three. Wish I could give you some of these. Anyone's, oh look, it's so easy to grow your own though, but I guess if you're buying a mould from me and you want a seed crystal, just pop it in the comments <laughs> if I've got any old. I'll try and send you one, but. I don't know how I would even package it. It's so small. All right, so I'm just going to... I've got two there that I like the look of. I will pick another one. That one's pretty interesting. A bit hard to see, but it's got like different layers. Hopefully they'll all kind of grow out and become a little bit... Kind of like quartz or... Spiky, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. Anyway, those are the three that I'm going to use. And I have to just wait until this water's at room temperature. So, yeah, around about 25 degrees Celsius, and then um, I can drop those in there. Okay. Oh, I'll see you in a, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take. An hour? I'll come back and check it then. All right, let's have a little feel of the water so it still feels a bit warm it's a little bit warm but I wouldn't say it's hot like I can feel that it's warmer than my body temperature so I am going to I'm going to do it I can see this starting to get a little bit of crystals forming on the top and there's a few little crystals forming on the bottom which happens as the solution cools so let's just Pop these little guys in. My tweezers aren't very wide. <laughs> oh gosh. They're not very good tweezers. I use them for my resin projects. <laughs> but look, there's no reason why you couldn't just pop them in with your fingers. I just thought I'd look a bit more professional with my tweezers <laughs> uh, yeah. never mind all right now we'll space them out now the videos that I did watch with doing this they added a tiny little bit of alum the um, aluminium potassium sulfate or aluminum potassium sulfate alum and they just basically just did a little a pinch. I don't know if that's a big enough pinch. I don't know about that. Let's just do a little pinch. There we go. Does that look about right? Oh gosh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. They just added they just added a pinch. <laughs> and they said it's very important, so I don't know why. So anyway, that's it. So we'll leave that there. Undisturbed. Um, do I want to put it back in here? Let's put it back in here and put it away and put it over there. Um, and I'm just going to leave it, close it up like that and put it on the other side of my bench where I'm not going to knock it and we'll look at it tomorrow and see if it's grown anything. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, so it's the next day. And uh, we'll take that off and see what we've got. 
it uh, just looks a bit of a mess in there at the moment, I must say. All right, let me just move this polystyrene out of the way. We'll get a bit of paper towel out so we can see what's going on. Um, I think I'm just going to use my fingers because with tweezers I can't feel if I'm like how much pressure I'm putting on the little guys. It um, it kind of just looks a bit of a mess. I can't see any particular. Oh, ah, it's all stuck. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't I can't really see the three big ones. I can see there, there, and there. I can't really. They don't look like crystals they just look like this fluffy stuff that just kind of crumbles so I don't know whether I haven't left it in long enough maybe just get some of this stuff out and I think that's <laughs> that was one of them but again it's just a mass of tiny little crystals on there so I'm not sure Let's see if I can rinse it a bit I'm not sure what's going on there it hasn't like grown its long spiky crystally things that um, I've seen other people have okay well I'm just gonna leave it there leave it there for now this is the other one it's done the same thing just a mass of little tiny, tiny crystals. Yeah, I don't know why, you guys. Like, <laughs> I've never done this before. I've never done it before. I can kind of see. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> that was my base crystal under there. So it doesn't look as if it's really worked. And I don't know why, that, but yeah, that was my base crystal there. And I can see the other one here. It is sitting there with a, again, snow coverage all over it. And I'll pick that one out as well. And then the rest of it's just this powdery stuff. So, um... I'm going to dissolve all of this. I wonder what would happen if I actually put that back in as, as a whole. Because, I mean, it's really pretty. But, yeah, it hasn't. Maybe it just needs longer. Maybe, yeah. That, I really don't know. I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. If you guys know, feel free to comment below. That is, it's really pretty. And there's like a heap of little crystals on there. Maybe I just need to leave it longer. But it may be. All right, so we've got, we've got that one. Okay, so that part of the video, um, you may remember you've seen before. And I took the larger one of these and I grew it into that. I will link the video of this one for you. Um, and you may remember that I, I grew two seed crystals. I grew this one and I grew this little one. Got ink on my hand. And I used the bigger one to do that. So the video that you've just seen is the same because I grew two. So we're going to put that aside somewhere safe. And we're going to continue the video with this one. But I'm going to change up a few things, okay? It is really cute. I actually got some kind of pointy crystals on that one. On this one, I didn't get pointy crystals. I got square boxy crystals. Oh, there's one there that's trying to be a bit pointy, but basically they're, they're square boxy crystals. And I've been researching, Googling like, like a crazy woman, trying to figure out how to get spiky. And I have discovered that the ADP solution, I'm just gonna put that there, the ADP or um, MAP, depending on what you want to call it. It's either monoammonium phosphate, MAP, or ADP, which is ammonium dihydrogen phosphate. If you add an acidic to this, you'll get pointy crystals. And by acidic, I mean alum. 
good old alum powder. This is a sulfate. The other one's a phosphate. Aluminum, um, potassium, sulfate. So I'm going to add some of that later. So to start with, um, I am using my demineralized water rather than tap water. I don't have... Um, the other water anyway I don't have it this is the only one that Coles had so I just grabbed this one uh, demineralized water and I'm going to add I'm going to add 100 mils straight to this and then I'll have to put this water in my microwave to bring it up to heat because I can't I'm not going to put all of this in my kettle and then boil it okay so that's 100 mils there distilled distilled water that's the other word I was looking for it escaped me Oh my gosh, okay, so 100 mils, I'm going to go and heat that in the microwave as hot as I can, um, and then I'm going to come back and we are going to put in our ADP. Okay, so I gave it two minutes, the glass is feeling really hot, so I don't think I want to put my finger in to check it, but two minutes. Now, uh, like I said, I was doing the research and it says when you are creating your seed crystal you use uh, a ratio of 100 mils of water to 60 grams of ADP so I've already got my seed crystal so we're missing that step and then to grow your seed crystals it's 100 grams uh, milliliters of water which I've got to 45 grams of ADP so we'll do 45 grams it's not quite as saturated when you're growing your seed, but for to create the seed, then you need a, a highly, a more super saturated. Does that mean it's a super, super saturated? 42, 43, 44, 45. All right, 45 grams of ADP. I'll pop that aside. Now I'm going to stir, 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 get this all dissolved. Uh, because it, the water has cooled substantially as I was adding that powder, I'll probably need to microwave this for another minute. And then, um, then I'm going to have to let it cool. So I will, it's almost dissolved, I'll put this in the microwave, dissolve it, um, and then um, I'll be back for the next step. I was just reading my notes. It says, because I, I was reading this article and taking notes. It says, put your ADP in 45 grams to 100 mils. Done that. Stir to dissolve. Um, and then add the alum. So we want the acidity to be increased to get those pointy crystals instead of the square crystals that I got. So I am going to add my, my alum. But it's only going to be one gram. So I put it on my little itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. No, 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 I'm getting sidetracked here. <laughs> Oh, one gram, one gram is all we need. So I've got it on my little little scale. I'm not sure how much one gram is going to be. Oh, come on, go back to zero. Oh, that's 0 0.22, 0 0.6. Okay, so it's it's the only way I can measure one gram. 0.76. Ah, 1.18. Okay, <laughs> I've gone over. <laughs> I take a few grains out. Anyway, it should be okay. The more you add, the pointier it's going to be. So now, I just got that on eBay. Little, little scale that goes the up in tiny little. That's very precise. Yep. Yeah, anyway, there we go. Turn that off. So now I will go back to stirring. Oh my gosh, look at the back of my spoon. It's got stuff happening. It's got dendrites happening on the back of the spoon. So, Okay, so now we need to stir that. Actually, I probably don't need to microwave that. Just need it to sit a little bit longer. All right, now I'm going to put it into this little container. It's just a, it's a hard plastic one. So I think that'll be fine make sure it's something that you can put really hot water into all 
Okay, so we're going to let that cool a little bit. I bought coffee filters just from just the cheapies from um, Coles. I'll pop that in there, and I am going to filter. See, I'm doing. I'm trying to do all the right things here. Let's filter this. This might take a while. <laughs> I've seen some people put a sieve under it to hold the paper. Oh gosh, this is going to take a while. Drip, 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 drip. At least it's cooling down because I can't put that seed crystal in when it's hot. It'll just kind of, it'll just melt and dissolve. So like sugar in a hot cup of tea. So I'm just going to let this drip through slowly um, and dissolve all of this. Pop it in there um, and then hopefully by the time that's all in there <laughs> uh, the water will be cool enough to add our seed okay so I think it's cooled down sufficiently that actually I can feel that it's kind of cool to the touch it's a bit cloudy I'm assuming that it will clear as it cools and of course as it cools uh, the crystals the powder will come out of the water because the water won't be able to hold it anymore as it cools, so it'll drop down and form crystals. Okay, now here is our little seed crystal that we prepared earlier. Um, I wonder if I can just... Um, those are pretty dirty. I've used those for resin and silicone and that. My fingers are probably cleaner. I'll just drop it in there. Can't see what I'm doing. It is cloudy. Like I said, I think once, once it settles, once all the powder kind of settles, because I've been stirring madly, I think it'll clear up. Actually it's not very deep is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh there's a bubble I feel like torching it. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, You know what you guys I am worried that I don't have enough depth now because obviously this is going to grow. Um, What can I do? What can I do? I've got one of these got this it comes with a little lid maybe I'll do that maybe I'll oh, it's not ideal is it oh gosh I didn't think about that I just thought yeah I'll just do 100 mils give that a swirl pour it in there <laughs> okay here we go a little crystal seed I'm sorry you guys you I don't know like I'm still so new to this and I'm trying to show you um, you know as I'm learning so that we can all learn together um, I've heard in my comments of my videos that people you, some of you have already um, you know ordered your alum or your ADP so I'm really looking forward to seeing your creations so I'm just going to I won't I won't use that I will show you what this is though it's just a little four pack Deco, deco spice, little spice organizers. So, um, yeah, there's four in there. So, I can, you know, grow some seed crystals four at a time. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. Oh, gosh, look, I'm covered in powder now. You can see all the solution, you know, all the powder coming out of the solution. I'll go and wash my hands with soapy water. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to carry it over around the corner to my little kitchenette. I'm going to put it on the shelf and I am going to cover it like that. Try and keep the breezes out. Try and keep it a little bit warm. So I am going to go and do that. And then I'm going to leave it for probably three days. <laughs> I will see you in three days and we'll see if we've got any crystal growth. Here's hoping... It has been 24 hours since I put my little seed crystal in here and I don't want to move the container because I don't want to bump it or move it or anything so I've just brought you into my little kitchenette now I'm going to shine my little flashlight in there so we can see what it's doing look what a cute guys it's got little pointy crystals going on get the bright light off it but it's definitely got little pointy crystals on it. I'm so excited. So this has been 24 hours. There is like this white cloud sitting on the base, which is a bit odd. Like the water's clear, but there's a, a white 
cloud just sitting there and uh, when I was researching um, I researched that alum uh, it's a water purifier and it wants to draw all or any impurities out of the water so I'm thinking that's what it's done <laughs> it's done its job because I've got quite a lot of alum in there you know one gram per hundred mils so I think that's just what it's doing but the rest of it's clear it doesn't look as if there's any crystals sort of hanging on to the side there's a few bubbles but oh, I'm so excited look at that all right I'll come back in another 24 hours and see what it's doing I'm not going to change the water I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to put its little bowl back over the top of it I've got this little bowl here that I'm just sort of putting over the top of it and uh, I'm going to leave it for another 24 hours so see you then here we are another 24 hours and uh, it's looking pretty good look woohoo how cool is that it's growing it's growing let me get a bit closer <laughs> That is so cool. Wow. It's growing very symmetrically. It's, oh, yeah. Let's just hope it continues to do that. It's got little points on the end of the, like the little quartz spikes. So, um, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully it's going to look pretty. Um, I'm just going to keep going with it. I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to move it. I'm not going to change the water. I am just going to leave it alone and um, I'll see you in a few days I won't I won't show you every day well wait a few days and I'll show you again so it's been uh, I think an extra two days and this is what it's looking like now and it's getting close to like touching the sides of this container so I'm gonna see if I can get it out hopefully it's not stuck to the the bottom and I may put it in this bigger one we'll see otherwise I'll just stop <laughs> and um, that'll be it for this one because I mean you just can you can just keep going and going and going you know but um, I think you gotta stop at some stage I'm just not sure if I can actually get it out without breaking it. I tried to move it. I thought, oh, maybe I can just move it to push it this way a bit because it's not touching on this side. And I snapped a little thing off. So, oh. um, Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, you know how it had that layer of white cloudy stuff on the bottom? Um, you can potentially... Um, I'm going to try and hold this gently. You can potentially pour most of this clear clear solution out and leave that sort of cloudiness on the bottom you could because um, yeah I'm not sure, quite sure how it affects it but anyway I don't think I'll have enough to cover this because I've made it wider if I'm going to grow it more I'm going to have to put more solution in it but um I actually don't know if I can get it out. Oh gosh, there's nothing to hold on to. Maybe I can use this. I just want to try and... Oh, there we go. Need just a little bit of a, a lift. Now let's see if I can get this out without breaking anything. Oh, look, you guys! Oh my gosh! <gasps> look, look, look. Wow. Oh my gosh ah, don't touch anything they snap off these little thin ones down here snap off now um, with this one I don't know if you can see can you see how the the points are kind of white that's where I added more solution just to top it up because it was growing and then it was gonna like poke through the top and I thought oh, I'll just put a little bit more in but it's changed the color of them oh, I don't know if you can see it or not I might just rinse it because it's got some of that cloudy stuff in there I don't think 
I'll go any further with it. I think I'll just leave it at this for this one because it was an experiment and it's it's grown huge. But yeah, the um, if the tips weren't white, I'd probably keep going. But um, because they are, they've sort of changed colour. It's not as pretty as it was. So I don't know why it's like that. Obviously, the the bottom sections have grown with no impurities. And then when I've added more solution, the tops, for some reason, it must have had impurities. So when they've grown, um, it's grown white. I think so. Let me just go and rinse it real quick. I rinsed it a little bit. It's still got like a white section in the middle, but I guess that's just the crystals. Now, the moral of this story, you can see a little bit more clearly here how these... Um, tips have gone white and the rest of it's clear it's a bit of a disappointment but look it's my first time doing this so I think I should just be proud of the fact that I've grown long pointy crystals um, maybe if I chose a color you know it might not have been so noticeable but anyway the moral of the story what I've learned from this is if you are going to grow a big crystal from something small then maybe have enough solution to cover the eventual size that you want so that this doesn't happen to you when you do your top-ups or maybe I'm just not very good at doing top-ups I don't know again if there's any experts out there that um, can help me out why it did that? I think that I'm just thinking it's because I had impurities in my top up of solution. But so yeah, that's that's how big how big it is. That's my hand. It's a pretty decent size. It's so cute. I really like it. <laughs> Even though it's um yeah got those tips on. It's still really pretty, really pretty, and um. Got some really little fine ones Oops, growing underneath. Of course, if you put this into another solution, it would keep growing. But um, I'm just going to leave it at that and move on. I've got a couple of others growing from another video, so we'll see how they do. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little video on my spiky crystals with ADP and alum to make them spiky. Let me get that other one out. So there's the ADP, just on its own. And there's the ADP powder with the alum. Big difference. <laughs> We're learning. We're learning science, you guys. We're learning science. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.